Hey everyone and welcome back to the Unity RPG tutorial series. So in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about terrain textures a little bit. So I'm going to be showing you an example of what we're going to be fixing for our terrain um, using a shader. So sometimes when you create mountains that are really high up at very sharp angles, you'll see that textures start getting stretched. It doesn't show up too much on this mountain, but we'll go over here real quick and I'll show you guys an example of what happens. So if you're using any of the standard built-in shaders for the terrain and you want to make really sharp and tall terrain, maybe mountains, um, you're going to see that there's a lot of stretching involved in the actual terrain textures themselves. So if we go over here real quick and we create um, little hills, you can see that the terrain textures aren't very stretched here. But if you want to create something that's at a very sharp angle, it's going to look very stretched. And what we need to do is use a triplanar shader to correct this. So we're going to be using a custom shader that's going to allow us to tile upwards the y-axis and it's going to correct our issue. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our terrain and we're going to be using the a custom shader for our material and it's going to change it back to the default um, terrain. But at this point, I guess we can see it a little bit better with this applied. As we can see, the stretching is pretty bad on here. So what we're going to be using is um, the triplanar shader. And we're just going to be using either the diffuse or the standard one. So what you're going to want to do is go to your textures and create a new. And you're going to create a material. Now I've already done this. Um, I just named mine terrain new. And this is where we can actually select the one that we want. So I just selected Diffuse, you can choose Standard. I'll include all this down in the description below. But once you select that, um, you'll have a bunch of different options for the actual textures on the terrain. I believe you can add more slots if you're using more textures on your terrain. I haven't messed around with it too much yet. But yeah. So now what we want to do is just select our terrain. And in our custom material, we're going to click that. And we're going to find our terrain new. And you're going to see that it tiles um, after we select that. And now if we actually go in here and we try editing any of this, so let's say we want to set this to 50, you're going to see that nothing happens here. That's because now it's um, being handled by the shader itself. So if you want to change any of that, you're going to need to come in here and adjust the different X, Y, and Z's coordinates. So let's see here if we do 0, 3... 0, 3, and 0, 3. You can see that it now can be tiled through there if you want to adjust those settings. So if we want to make it larger, or if we want to make it smaller, just like that. That's how we're going to be adjusting the tiling. And now if we go over here, we can actually see that the texture is tiled going along this access. So yeah, that's a simple way of implementing a triplanar texture. Um, we can also, if you wanted to in here, is change the different colors. So if you wanted to see exactly which texture you're going to be altering, you can change the different colors or if you just want to adjust the texture's color by itself. So if you actually want to go into the shader itself, I guess we can probably open this real quick. I think we're using the diffuse. So I haven't really worked with shaders in the past much, but uh, I was kind of wondering if any of my subscribers would be able to comment down below and let me know if there's any other way to add more than four shaders. I know that these ones use the splat map for, or grabbing the splat map from the train and storing it in the RGB and alpha channels in order to use up four different textures but I'm kind of wondering if there's a way to include more. I know I've seen other train tools that have the same thing built in, but they're able to use more than four textures. So yeah, um, definitely in a MMO environment, you'll probably be using more than four textures. So if anybody can, yeah, download this and look at it and uh, either email me or leave down in the comments a way that we could add more than four textures, that'd be awesome. But yeah, just 
Uh, the basics of this is just inputting the four different textures and the bump maps, if there are any. And then we're going to be applying the color, tiling, and offsets. So that's the basic, um, basic variables that we're adding into just the texture itself. And then it calculates that all into the actual terrain. Now, I guess with this other file, I don't know if it also includes or calculates this stuff in any other way. I guess we could look at that real quick too. So it looks like the terrain splat map custom file is actually calculating a little more of the terrain and the actual splat maps themselves. And I believe it's doing something with the lighting as well. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure about most of this code, but anyways, yeah, if anyone has a, uh, a suggestion for adding more than four textures, that'd be awesome. I mean, you can still use it for maybe a mobile game or, you know, a single player RPG that's not using too many textures. You can still make a level look pretty good with four textures. Um, if you're using bigger maps with more, um, randomized textures in that way. Um, you could limit yourself on how many textures you actually need. But for now, it seems a little bit limited, and it would be nicer to have more of that. So if anyone can leave down in the description below if they have any idea how to, to increase that, that'd be awesome. I wasn't really able to find anything else uh, within the community that was saying you could add more than four. Maybe we can create more to the RGB A value, like creating a new one. But yeah, anyways, uh, until next time, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.